because I can't do math. <laughs> it is time. No, I'm not short block time, but it's still Gen 5 LT time. Let's put our heads together. Sure, if we put our three heads together, we should come up with something. I ordered a 685 dual spring kit that comes with retainers, locks, locators, valve seals, and valve tip savers. Right now in front of me, I have all of my valves set in here. All I'm going to do is mock up each one with our locator. So you put your locator in there first. Once your locator is in there, you're going to take your micrometer and set the retainer on the top and then grab two locks and go ahead and lock it into place as if there was a spring there. Once those locks are on, you can go ahead and measure the micrometer down until it touches and there's no room to spin it anymore. Forever together forever. Oh my god, no. Locked in. <laughs> Jeez, Lewis. Now one thing I like to check is to make sure that the micrometer is actually right. So now that I measure it and I know what the number has been on here, I'm going to mimic that number and then use calipers to make sure that it's correct. Holy cow. So after measuring the micrometer, I went from 1.815 and it's actually 1.783. Now, simply what I'm going to do is redo all of that and on each and every single one of these so I can get a proper sizing so I can decide what shims I need to put in there and how big I need to make them. One of the first things you're going to need to know is what cam you're going with. This is all valve train, so you have to know what cam. And then you have to look at your cam spec card and see what your lift is. Mine happens to be 644. Take that and you're going to take your coil bind on your spring kit. The other number that you're going to want to know is coil bind clearance. What you're going to do is you're going to take all three of those numbers, you're going to add them together. So I I have 644 plus 1 plus and that is going to give me an install height of 1.704. I'm going to give myself a little more clearance. So I'm going to go with 1.764. 1.745. Cuz I can't do math. Now I'm going to go off of the number 1.745 for the rest of this. That is my install height. So that is how tall I want all of these to come out to. My goal here is to get the closest to the installment height, which I said was 1.745. Yes, that is what I said. I'm extremely confused. You're confused, I'm f***ing confused, bro. So I'm actually gonna base my numbers off of what the caliper said, not what the micrometer said, because sometimes they're just not accurate. With me, I have shims from 30 thou and 15 thou, and what we're basically gonna do is take each one of those numbers and subtract the installment height, and that should give you the difference of how much you need to make up for in those shims. Now that all the math is done, it is time for probably the easiest part of it all, and that's actually putting them together and assembling them. But here are all my numbers, and all the numbers in parentheses is how far I need to shim it, but I only have 15 thou and 30 thou shims. So we are going to get the closest to that number that we can, whether it goes over or under, just as close as it can get. 
One thing I recommend is getting oil for your valves. That's not right, oil. Let's get started. First step, shims. Second step, locator. Third step, valve seal. Yours, and I might see you guys next week with a short block.